They drive to that, especially the young boys that rap. They, I mean, they, they want to feel like you understand what they're going through more. You know what I mean? Like Meek, like he got so big now, I think that they, they kind of like, it ain't the same if you talk oh, yeah. about the struggle. You know what I mean? Even though he came from the struggle and all that stuff, but mm -hmm. it's like the young people look at it like, we don't ever really see you. I mean, we don't really never see, but it's like somebody, they, they need somebody they could t put their hands on. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I think, I think the boy Lee Ford, you know what's coming up now, I think he'll be able to do something like that too. If, I mean, as long as he, he stay like, seem grounded. Right. The people, you, you want to be like, like people feel, feel like you're approachable. Exactly. I mean, some people feel like, man, you ain't approachable. Because Philly just like, you could be famous. If they feel like you ain't approachable, they ain't going to say nothing to you. Even if they're your fan to the death. I mean, they're like, man, it's him, but like, I ain't saying nothing to him. Right. I ain't going to play right. myself. Exactly. First, first they didn't, once again, the Virginia thing, man, I ain't dick riding. Yes, right. yeah, that's Philly. That's Philly. That's, that's for sure. Right. Giving it up is not dick riding. Yeah, we we know that. Yeah. I mean, but, first well, we're older, though, too. And, and we, we understand we're more secure in ourselves. I mean, a lot of times when you're young, you act like you're secure, but you're really not. I think our city is geographical, too. It is. You know what I'm but saying? But not as much it, as it was when we was younger, though. Yeah, okay, okay. Ho hopefully, uh, prayfully, it changed, man, because cause just, just boxing yourself in, because this person, this part of the city, come on, y'all. I mean, I, I, I can't even say nothing bad about it because I used to do the same thing. I know, but right? I'm just saying. But I don't I know it was like that. Period. Yeah. Plus, plus, I see that with the stuff that's going against us. Right. It's just it's being black, man, period. I mean, everything is against us. Do we against each other at the same time? I mean, right. So, so that, that's the only thing. Like you having sons, right. make you start seeing stuff different. Absolutely. You, you know. gotta give people uh, they chance, they rightful chance to grow, though. Yeah, you know that's, what that's what I do. So, so I don't be so hard. That, on, right. I don't put Can't what I too, feel. Too hard yeah, on. I don't put yeah. what I feel on that's them. That's right. I mean, because I know I was retarded in the mix. You know I mean, yeah. So at, like at that age. Yeah. You know I mean, so I'll be like, let them, let them learn on something I gotta learn on their own. Right. Then a lot of people don't have no fathers, the prisons. So you you influenced by all the wrong things around you. How could you be right? You, you mean? Right. How can you be right? Everything you know is, is backwards. It's just, it's <laughs> you, you mean? Ass backwards. Well, yeah, you know, so, they so just, it, people is just exposed to so much because now somebody can look at the internet and actually see a murder where they probably would have never actually physically seen that outside of a movie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now they can go on there and see whatever they want to see. Yeah. So I think it's desensitized. That's why it's so Absolutely. so much. Desensitized for sure. Yeah, too. people the murders ain't even saying it's, it's like somebody it's dying. And people celebrating it. Yeah. yeah. What? I'm just What's saying that because on? I said like my area when somebody died in another neighborhood, you might not know. Right. But now every person that died, you, you get come to see across it. the timeline. So you get to see every Citizens person. that popping. It gets desensitized to it. You know, I'll be though. telling I'm telling my folks, man, turn that off, man. Cause you you just bringing that energy. Every every you just you want yeah, it. Bing is going off. Man, some, some, this man. one got shot this right here. Somebody I just got robbed. Every city I wanna hear that, man. A young leader. I mean, yeah, and maybe a, right. a young leader might need like a mentor or something they can talk to behind the scene that's like staring the right way, but it needs a leader that's amongst them. That they can, right. that's, that's, that's their age, yep. that's really positive, that's mm -hmm. really gotta be a strong person. Yep. I mean, one person could change the whole city. Any city. But see, the problem is this, though, right? You see, most parenting now is not to the degree mm. of how our parents did. Like, the structure and the discipline is not there as much mm. as a whole. You know what I'm saying? Some people doing it. But for the most part, some people just let their kids just let them go. Yeah. So then here you come with the structure. It's a yeah, turn off. You know what I'm saying? Ain't you, ain't, well, our you know, structure was blowing my high. Just like marry at the block and pop you upside your head. That was Absolutely. our structure. They said it takes a village. Mm -hmm. yeah, they, not now, you jump both day. You ain't touching nobody, mm -hmm. kid. Now, you can't, can't even say nothing. But it got to be something to kid. save them, though. Like I always be trying to think about like, something positive that can save them, like something. Whether it's a, like motivation, money type of motivation, or something. Money, sports, they, some, some I, is I don't the, know, the man, because they don't have the spiritual balance, man. They don't fear nothing. It's like me, I know I was fearless to the old heads came to me and said, you got so much heart. Younger, you need a spiritual balance. And it just stuck with me. And then that's when, you know, I got, my mom always had me in church grow up, but as a Christian and turned Muslim as I got older to make my own decisions. But feeling, I made myself believe that you have to answer for this life. Mm -hmm. And that always made me make better decisions. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I think it, that's what's that's what's missing. They don't fear nothing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So you was raised you was raised in Southwest. That's uh, yeah, Southwest Philadelphia, Fifty Eighth Street. Yeah. I never yep. went to Southwest until I was probably about like twenty something. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, crazy. For, you had a cousin that was my man. I used to come down. In Southwest? West, no, West, West Philly all the time. With, but it was so long ago, I forgot his name. Hey, that right, was my man. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> was my, I'm talking about my man, man. Yeah. But Southwest was like, a, like I heard of Southwest and all yeah. that. I mean, I never really was there until like I was grown. You oh, mean? yeah? Because it's like, 
Because I didn't really go to South Philly either. You know, that's like right. almost in the same. Right. You know I, mean? yeah. I was in North. I didn't leave North Philly till I was like 13. Wow. I mean, and it's like, so I had, that's the structure of my whole brain. Like, right. I mean, mind you, the, lo- the low parts of North, the dirty with the, you know I mean, dirty parts of North. Right. Right. So when I so, seen West Philly, I said, yo, this joint look kind of nice out here. Like, it's like, yeah. like the suburbs. Yeah. You know what yeah. right? oh, I so, 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 like, I grew up real in a real terrible, like, like environment. You know what I mean? Right. And it made me appreciate a lot. You know right. You know? right. So like a lot of kids now, they, they automatically think they're supposed to be famous. Right. They're supposed to have money. Exactly. And the way we was raised, you, you had to go make your money. You can't stand in front of somebody's car and take a picture. Exactly. I mean, your hood know if you got it or you don't. So you right. really was trying to get it. I think a lot of people now want to fake it instead of really trying to get it. Exactly. You know? so because, I mean? because, because it works. You know what I'm saying? It, it's actually working for them. Man. You know what I'm saying? Why well, we try to think and say something positive to the kids? Because it's all about, I, just, I want this joint to be all about... Getting them to change, they, even if you reach the one, mindset. the mindset, you know what I mean? See, like, I mean, because if you're around a bunch of haters all day, you're going to end up being coming on yourself. Right. I mean, you, it's hard to be by yourself and alienated from everybody just because you think different, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's a certain type of individual. I mean, that's why I said it takes one young boy to be a leader to show them the right way. They had, they had a good mom or dad or somebody schooled them the right way. Right. I mean, other than that, I, I think it's, The first it's, thing they got to realize that is that, you know, being so called, uh, uh, um, What's the, what's that word for? What they say, geek is is what's nerd, up. Yeah, being a nerd is what's up. You know what I'm saying? Everything ain't got to be gangster. That's that's the number one thing. You know what I'm saying? Just be start learn how to be comfortable in your skin. Everybody like sometimes we we teach everybody that they got to be aggressive and sometimes even with my son. You know what I'm saying? My sons, you teach them to be aggressive and just that. But what if he that that ain't his thing? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What what if his thing is he's just a brain? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, you know, we, we inst- I think we can be wrong sometimes too. Sure. Because we make every, everything is gangster. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then they come up believing that, man. So what you what, what you got going on that's coming up right now that people can look forward to? And how can they like get in touch with you? They want to get in touch with you. Well, you can definitely hit me on S dot B L A K underscore on the grand. Um, you know, I'm on the acting journey right now. You know what? Mm-hmm. I, I figured I'm going to re- recreate myself. I, I, I believe that, you know, it's a lot left that, that I have that, that I to accomplish for myself. So I got a movie, uh, Once Upon a Time in Philly, out right now, streaming on Amazon Prime. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so it got over oh. 2 million streams right now. So oh, yeah? it's doing I'll well. check that joint out. Yeah, check that out. And I have a designer line out called Budeni, B-O-U-D-E-N-I-I. You can follow the page on Instagram as well. Okay. Yeah. Anything coming up? I mean, we we trying to do some arts development down in Virginia. Me, mm-hmm. uh, myself, Doe, Wapo, mm-hmm. down in Virginia. So, so we just trying to really... Is, is it singers or rappers or both? Both. Both. You know what I'm saying? It's like just acknowledging the talent. Mm-hmm. It just kind of help hone it. And it's real... Do they have to be from Virginia tenure. or are they just, as long as they're in Virginia? No, no, as long as it's talent. As long as it's talent. Mm-hmm. How, can they, how can they reach you? Like, you can get in time. On Instagram, Big the Humble Monster, M O N S T A. I'm not on Twitter. Uh, Clubhouse is uh, Big the Humble Monster as well. That's what's up, man. So, any advice you want to get the young people that's watching? Yeah. Well, um, I, shit, I, I think the first thing I would say is uh, stop expecting people to be just as excited about your dream that you are. Like that's the biggest no, that's thing the, you could ever, you could yeah. ever do is looking for, you know, some type of validation to to go ahead and chase it. Just know what you want and just go do it. Because people around you gonna tell you every reason why not to do it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So as long as you're not scared to go against the grain and understand your dream is your dream, and mm, that's right. what you gotta do. And like you know, prove them wrong type thing. That's like, good. I, I, get them, get them yeah, I, I would say keep pushing it, and then at, at some point just be realistic with yourself. You know what I'm saying? Cause sometimes we gotta be realistic with ourselves and understand is this something that we really can accomplish that we really can do but if that's what you feel and you feel 100 percent about whatever it is your dream is then go for it you know what i'm saying don't don't let nobody dictate that because you was born by yourself and you most definitely gonna die by yourself so mm-hmm. so at, at, at in between there you gotta just just try to live your life to, to make yourself happy first and then you can help other people. You well, know what I mean? Y'all hear it here first, man. Let's get no vast deeper than rap podcast, man. I love y'all. Peace out. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>